I'm Gordon Murray and we're here at Goodwood to uh, announce our new supercar, the T33. We thought we'd bring along um, part of my collection and some borrowed cars today just to show where the influence for the styling and the ethos behind T33 comes from. When you look at these two cars, we've come full circle because this is where it all started. T1, my first car that I designed and built and raced in South Africa in 67 and 68. So really where it all started, and then bang up to date with GMA's creation, the T50. So um, these rarely are bookends. From about six, I wanted to be a racing driver, nothing else really, never, never anything else. Um, didn't have any money, story of my life in those days. And uh, I, I had to design my own car and my own engine to go racing when I was 18. And this is, this is the car I, I made in South Africa, raced for a couple of seasons. I, th I think the Mura has the, probably the closest link to 33 for, for a couple of reasons. One is that for me this is where the, where the supercar, the modern supercar began, you know. Beautiful style car, beautifully proportioned and balanced, transverse V12, high revving V12, you know, just the beginning of, of everything and in a way another bookend because we've now, this is 4 litre V12, T50, 4 litre V12, all those years later and it's sort of probably the last great NA V12. So there's another bookend situation really, but for me, this is where it all started. And it's still a, a great looking car today. This is just typical of cars I like. Small, nicely proportioned, lightweight, and fun to drive. I mean, that's it in a nutshell, really. And if you look at this collection, it's quite eclectic. This is not a normal car collection. They're all cars that do those things. This is much more about nostalgia because growing up in the 60s and watching sports car racing in the 60s, this is almost like a baby 275 SP, you know, and, or 275 LM. Uh, so this sort of proportion and this shape is really what I grew up with uh, watching sports racing cars in the 60s. I think that the Vallelunga's always been a favourite. You know, it's a very rare motor car, I only made about 50 of these, but um, from the moment it came out, once again, a very clean design, you know, nothing unnecessary. Um, at GMA, what we've tried to do, particularly with 33, is nothing on the car that doesn't have a function. <laughs> so there's no styling frippery, if you like. And this is a classic example of form and function, you know, beautiful balanced motor car and it's got nothing on it it doesn't need. I've always been a fan of Zagato, really. Um, on, once again, a little bit like the Vallelunga, a very clean motor car, just all about shape, form and, and balance, really, in the proportions. Um, I particularly like the, um, the cabin exit air, the double bubble on the roof. You know. When I did the, uh, the TVR, the latest TVR, we tried to get a little bit of that form in the roof of the, uh, the TVR in 2017. Um, I, just, I just think it gives the car a lot of character. I mean, the Lotus Elite is about as good as it gets for me. I mean, when you think, Earl's Court Motor Show, October 57, this came out. It looked like a spaceship then, and it still does, you know. It's, uh, this has got to go down for a front engine car as the best proportion motor car ever made I think it's just such a beautiful little shape but once again it's it's function it was all about aerodynamics in those days uh, this was the first structural uh, composite primary structure on a motor car in glass and the F1 was the first carbon so that was always dear to my heart too because here you've got the first glass monocoque and we did the first carbon monocoque the, the funny thing was, I mean, I watched these, I uh, watched the uh, these OT2000 Telescopios racing in the 60s. I always assumed that the, the that the intake on the roof is something to do with the engine. It's actually just driver cooling. <laughs> but it's a uh, it's a lovely feature. And once again, the proportions of the car and the face of the car, in particular, on this, um, it's something I've always liked. Yes, yeah, so the 904, I actually raced against one of these when I was racing in South Africa with uh, T1. I actually uh, raced against one of these 904s and 906s. And I've always loved this from a proportion point of view. And if you look at the back of T33, the rear view, you'll see a little bit of 904 in there. So this, is, this car is really, truly inspirational. I try and drive as many of my classics as possible. Every summer I select half a dozen or so to bring home and use. 
the Porsche, I love driving the little Porsche, yeah. And the Vallelunga drives very well too.